Hello, this is Andre Myron of West Coast Chainmail. I wanted to share with you our new winding apparatus that we've been putting together over the last couple of months. Still undergoing a little bit of testing and still doing a little bit of tweaking on it, but it was uh, it's uh, functional enough to share at this point and maybe give you some ideas for some things to do in your own garage. The uh, apparatus is a synthesis of designs um, borrowed from Martin of Bikini Duck Creations. You might have seen his YouTube ghost coiling video as well as from YouTube user Coolant Cooled who gave us the idea for this little tensioning jig over here. The setup is pretty simple. We have our wire spool down here on a spindle. Uh, the wire travels up into the tensioning jig which has three rollers to provide tension on the wire to our slotted mandrel which is supported by the by the jig. There is a weighted uh, guide here that helps to provide uh, protection from coil overs. The mandrel is of course in our drill here. Our drill is on a sled put in a, a piece of dual track 8020 uh, to give it the ability to slide on down. The drill is wired into a kill switch here which I'm going to turn on now as well as a variable speed uh, fan control here a slider. So basically we've already preloaded our, our coil here but I'm going to go ahead and show you how we, how we start out nice and slow. Make sure that everything is going as it should. Once we see that it is we can put it full out. You can see the coil building. And we designed this with a kill switch. So as the drill nears the switch, we'll trip it. Stopping it automatically, which is nice. Uh, we can then put the speed to zero, grab our clippers, clip this guy off. And we now have our, our spring ready for cutting. Uh, the nice thing about this setup is that it has an adjustable tension, so the center wheel can be adjusted in or out to provide uh, more or less tension on the wire, depending on the kind of wire you're winding. And likewise, the kill switch here is set up with a C-clamp so that I can move it up and down the bench and wind wi uh, coils of different lengths depending on my needs at the time. So I thank you very much for watching. Of course, we at West Coast Chainmail hope that you'll buy your links from us. Uh, but if you are not of the mindset to buy pre-made links and you want to make your own, we hope that this gives you some ideas to increase efficiency in your own workshop. Until our next video, this is Andre Myron from West Coast Chainmail, and we wish you happy mailing.